So y'all, my husband just called me and said, I need you to help me get some stuff out the car. This is the next day, y'all, from when I went to the Lowe's. And I go out to help him thinking, well, he need help with the wood because he's, you know, building the stuff for his aquarium. Y'all, look what he got me for Valentine's Day. So y'all, my husband just dropped me off. See that white truck? <laughs> he told me don't bring that for me to pay for. He can't stand bringing me in the Lowe's. Oh, look at the tulips, red and white. We got these yellow and orange daffodils for $6.98, y'all. Look at how pretty. It ain't even out yet. I'm just so excited. I'm looking at all of these colors, and all I'm seeing is spring is almost here, y'all. I want these daffodils. But I came in here to look for some worm castings. Oh, look at the little buckets they're growing in. Look, 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 look. Huh. Oh, now I see how Tamika feel. Oh, look at this pale. Oh, this look fake. This is real. Oh my God. I wish y'all could feel that. Oh my goodness. It's a yellow daffodil. Y'all. Oh God, help me Jesus. Y'all, welcome to the channel. I'm so sorry, y'all. I jumped out the truck so fast, I forgot to greet y'all. Thank y'all for being here. These are red and yellow ruffle tulips. Oh my God, these are so pretty. They didn't have none of this in the last time I was here. Look at the little containers that they have them in. These are more red and yellow ruffle tulips. Oh, Jesus, help me. Take the wheel, Lord. Take the wheel, Lord. I don't see no trees out here, though, y'all. Hmm. My heart is racing. I'm just saying. Um, I need some. I don't know if they have any worm castings over here. I usually find them in. Home Depot, but we're gonna look today in the Lowe's to see. Okay, let's see. We got fertilizer for you know. Um, we got fish fertilizer 511. All right, where is it? What's this? Well, they got the fertilizer spikes for nine dollars. What's in it? Well, this is for trees and shrubs. Okay, let me start down here and then maybe I'll find it. My mind is still focusing on those tulips. Oh my god, and daffodils. But I can't even see straight. Fertilizer plant food for azaleas, which I don't have any azaleas. Mm, some awesome, uh, awesome coat. I might have to go to Home Depot. See, I told you, y'all, y'all can use the Epsom salt as a plant nutrient. I use that sometimes too, and it corrects yellow leaves so i might do that because my leaves on my seedlings are starting to turn yellow and i know that they probably need to be fed but you can also it could be um, a lack of nutrients in your soil so i may use some epsom salt to correct the yellowness from my um, leaves y'all i'm learning so much this year i just i mean last year this year Blood meal. It's a source of nitrogen. Just only seven dollars. I don't see the what I'm looking for, which is the worm castings yet. Um, I may end up getting this. Um, promotes plant growth and vibrant color. I may end up getting that. But see there. 
Oh, bone meal. Bag is. I wonder if they'll give me a discount for this because it's busted. For this bone meal. I need to ask. Because if so, I want to turn it, but it's going to waste out if I turn it off. Reduces plant watering treats over 50 to 10 baskets. Ideal for indoor, outdoor use. Potted plants, vegetables, garden, hanging baskets, and more. Oh, not a plant food ingredient. I don't know what that means. These are granules. Let's see. It's supposed to lessen my time for having to water them. I might need that because I'll be forgetting, y'all. Just saying, just saying. Okay, so I'm wondering, should, even though they're in containers, should I get this right here to feed them my tomatoes and stuff? Should I get that or should I just get, oh God, I wish I could ask y'all, or should I just get the um, blood meal or the bone meal? I'm gonna see if I can get a discount on this bone meal real quick. I just wish they had what I was looking for. And they don't. How dare they? So I think I'm going to use my Epsom salt I have at home. And I'm going to see if you give me a discount for this bone meal. Why they don't have no worm castings? They have something called tree tangle foot. They don't even have a slot where it's missing from. That means they don't even carry it over here. So now I have to go to Home Depot. Not today though, because I'm riding with my husband. And he about to build him his doors for his tank. Hmm. Okay, y'all, I'm about to go. And I'll let you see in a little bit what, what I got, if I got anything. Okay, y'all, let me show you what I got. So I did get the shake and feed. They don't carry like just the bone, just the, um, not the bone meal, the earthworm castings in here by itself in this Lowe's. Maybe they do at your Lowe's. Let me know in the comments. I'm probably going to end up going to Home Depot, like I said, um, this weekend. But I got this right here, Shake and Feed. I know you shouldn't, people say you shouldn't use miracle Grow, but I'm going to use it. It was um, $5. About to run away from me. This was $5, y'all. And then I got the bone meal. He gave me a 50% off. I gotta be careful because of that hole in it. But he gave me the idea. The bone meal gave me 50% off. So it came up to $7.58 and half off of it. So it was um, $3.41. And then I got a military discount from it. And that dropped it down. Yeah. And that dropped it down. So all in all, my total discount was five seventy four for both of these things because I used my military discount. Um, well, I used my husband's military discount. So now I gotta go find him, and I can say, "See, you didn't have to buy me nothing. I bought it myself." Okay, y'all. So that's it. Um, I hope y'all enjoyed this little quick. Lowe's haul. See, I gotta get away from that stuff right there because 
I want it so bad. I want them tulips, y'all. Oh gosh, I'm gonna show it to him. And I hope that he come back and I'll be like, you can get me that for Valentine's Day. Just buy me a bunch of tulips and stuff. So, let me find him and get out of here. After I look in the paint section, of course. So y'all take care and have a blessed day. Remember, I love you, but God loves you more. So y'all, my husband just called me and said, I need you to help me get some stuff out the car. This is the next day, y'all, from when I went to the Lowe's. And I go out to help him thinking, well, he need help with the wood because he's, you know, building the stuff for his aquarium. Y'all, look what he got me for Valentine's Day. My red and white ruffled tulips. I don't think I've ever owned or had tulips in my life. And then these are just all red right here. And look, 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 it's starting to bulb up right there. These are so cute. So, I've never taken care of tulips before. And I gotta get this out of here. Okay, so it says full sun, six plus hours. And then on the back, it says water keep moist the first year one per week cold hardiness so it can take the cold minus 20 to 30 degrees non-hardy in zones one through three zone four is cold hardiness so these are cold hardiness i'm in zone 8a so i should be good average mature size is six to eight 18 inches um they have a number on here you can text for more info spacing at least six inches apart fertilization in the fall so i don't even have to worry about fertilizing it right now um it says attention check for bee hazard warnings and pollinators precautions on pesticide labels before application y'all i'm so excited it shows you how to plant it dig a hole two times the width of the pot plant one inch above the ground level build water basin mulch in water thoroughly hopefully i don't mess that up but y'all look aren't they so cute i'm so excited about it and y'all don't pay attention to those meal trays over there those are the meal trays that my kids get from the school lunches which they don't like the school lunches y'all i don't see anything wrong with it i mean but they don't they don't like it so i'm gonna see if they're gonna eat it or not if not i'm tossing it and i'm gonna use these containers right here instead of buying some i have enough one two three four five six seven of them right here so y'all anyway back to the tulips the star of the show all right y'all so i'm guessing i can separate these and plant them six inches apart so i have to find somewhere that i'm gonna plant them and something i'm gonna plant them in or i might just leave it i don't know y'all i don't know